All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Kodobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Portable Rover Components mod, which was originally made by forum user Alex Eustace. It's now being revived by Linux Guru Gamer. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game are some pretty awesome collapsible rover parts for you to play with, and they are wonderful. So let's uh, jump into the space plane hangar and have a look at what we do get. Now let's grab ourselves an Octo 2 for size comparison's sake. And actually I'll probably need to uh, lay that flat. There we go. And turn on our mod filter just leaving on asset where we can have a gander at our first part here, the PRC command seat. And this is a command seat so it can hold one Kerbal on it and control a ship through it but it also does have a small battery holding a max of 40 45 electric charge. So a pretty simple part, but a fun one. And if we pop it on to the Octo 2 here, you can see by default it is in its collapsed state, but if we right click on it and deploy the seat, it pops up into its full glory and just looks magnificent. Like with all the parts that you're going to see here today, there is a lot of just wonderful detailing to these things, and uh, having that collapsed uh, whole sort of uh, nature to them is very cool and I really love because they take up a lot less space, are easier to move around, especially if you are using this mod in conjunction with the Kerbal inventory system. You can have these things stored away, all collapse, then bring them out on a planet, put them together to make yourself a nice convenient little rover. They are cool, very utilitarian parts. But let's have a look at the uh, next part here, which uh, to do so, we're going to have to go all the way way down to ground where we have the PRC wheel and it's a pretty standard wheel uh, providing you with about 30 meters per second max motor speed using of course electric charge with a 30 degree steering range and if we pop it on to the Octo 2 here you can see in its collapsed state it's just kind of all well folded in and if once more we right click and deploy the wheel the uh, axle sort of pops down a bit and the wheel turns uh, to the side providing you with an actual functioning wheel and the actual uh tire itself seems to expand outward a bit and become thicker which is pretty nice. I love both the detailing on the models themselves but also the uh, animations. They're very cool and very, well, functional. Now, after this part, uh, the next one that we have, if we uh, pop this one off, is in electrical, where we have the PRC bumper. Now, uh, this one has again a battery on it, now holding a hundred electric charge, but also does have a deployable solar panel which will produce a 0.5 electric charge per second so not a whole lot but for a small rover it's more than adequate and if we now go to pop uh, this one on to the octo as you can see here it is attached uh, via a control point and uh, so if we pop it onto there again nicely compacted down all together you can see the batteries there on the bottom and the solar panel folded up there and if we deploy it pops out with the solar panel coming out that way kind of forming a uh, rack that perhaps you could put some stuff onto on the top with again that battery on the back end of the solar panel just all in all very cool very smooth animation with it and just another fun useful part and finally the last part that we have here if we head down to utility we have the PRC platform and this is meant to be sort of the main body of any rover you make with this and it really has no stats to it. it is basically a um, structural part but it's in utility and if we pop uh, this one on to the Octo 2 you can see we have a number of different attachment points for you to use here but they all sort of have their purpose the middle attachment point is, of course, useful for hooking it to things or putting the command seats on. And then if we actually deploy this thing, there you go. It pops out into a, a bit more recognizable of a rover form where you have these... Uh, I don't know 
know if you'd call them axle bits, but uh, these attachment points, the four around the side, which are really meant for your wheels. We then have the attachment point on the front and back of the whole thing, which are meant for the uh, bumper with the solar panel. And uh, even though we do have that one attachment point in the middle for perhaps your seat, you really can't put the seat anywhere along here, and it actually fits quite nicely. Either two seats going side to side or forward and back on here, it works quite well. But again, just a good smooth uh, deploy animation that I very much do enjoy here. All looks good, and that thing really does uh, compact itself down to a quite a small size, which is uh, wonderful. So let's head out into the world where I do, of course, have a rover built to show these things in action. And you may have seen it down here by the astronaut complex if we jump into our portable rover components. Well, rover. You can see how all of these work in the field and point out one slight oddity to them. Now, as you can see here, we've got the bumper in the front and back, both providing us with some lovely electric charge. I put two of the deployable seats onto here, front and back, but if you did squeeze them together, you might possibly get them side to side. Though, of course, you don't necessarily have to use the PRC platform if you do not desire. But with them all together, it uh, functions as a pretty good little rover. I mean, it's uh, it's quick, it's agile, and has some room, especially if you are, again, like I mentioned earlier, using the Kerbal inventory system. You could throw on possibly a small storage container or just, you know, put some things strapped to the side of this uh, lovely little rover to have yourself a very nice, useful, compact vehicle for other worlds. And all in all, it's a pretty fun little little uh, collection of parts, though with uh, one slight oddity to it, which we'll talk about here now, and that is the collapsing. Now, like I said, you really should be using this mod with the Kerbal Inventory System and sort of building this rover wherever you land, rather than having it all together as it is here, and then collapsing it, because if we do that, say retract that bumper there in the front, retract this bumper here on the side, they fold down nicely and actually don't look too bad. But if we then start taking, say, the retracting the wheels, Eh, you'll notice it starts to still kind of look good, but you can tell where things might start to go wrong here, if you remember what the platform looked like inside the space plane hangar. And if we retract that, well, all goes inward and, um, yeah, they're all just kind of floating there in space now. <laughs> so, yeah, again, they're really more meant to be used with the Kerbal inventory system to sort of have all these individual parts stored somewhere in your ship and then pop them out. But quite honestly, if you do actually have the platform deployed, uh, the rest of the parts actually look pretty much at home, collapsed together here, and you just say strap this to the side of your ship, perhaps, and you'll just have this nice flat rover on the side there that you just knock off, unfold, and have at it. But yes, with the, the platform, the platform's really the one part that kind of makes it all look a bit awkward if you're trying to have a fully collapsed uh, rover here on its own. So yeah, just, just make a small note of that but all in all these are some really cool parts I love how wonderfully they all do collapse together how smooth the deploy animations are on these things especially with these solar bumpers they look very good there and just all in all it creates a useful small utilitarian rover that you can have a lot of fun with on your missions so yes that's really it for this episode today. If you'd like to have a look at this mod for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But, uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this one, and of course that you do come back for the next video, and hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one! Now clearly, we should take a sharp turn, because that can only end well in a rover. There we go! Ha! <laughs> fun times. Actually, we're, we're all right. It survived. Huh. I was expecting explosions. Good times. Later, folks.